The lighting isn't great. Um, also, my skin is kind of being really bad, but we're going to ignore that. Anyway, hi guys. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Natalie, and if you are new, I do videos on pre-nursing as well as lifestyle vlogs, so if you are interested, definitely subscribe. Hit that button. Um, today, I'm going to be talking about the T's test. If you guys have watched my previous vlogs, I took the T's test on the 7th. Of January so a few days ago I have a little snippet of the day in the vlog sorry the lighting is gonna change I'm just gonna talk about that now um, but yes I have a bit of a snippet of um, the vlog of that day I did vlog myself going there but I didn't go into complete depth about how it was or what was on the test and I wanted to sit down have a chill video with you guys and just really kind of go in as depth as I can um, so I'll insert that clip right now of my day and heading to the T's test. Oh my god, I'm so freaking... I am so scared. Oh my god. I don't even know like what to say right now just because I'm so nervous. Um, so I'm gonna... I'll pull out my camera when I get into the school's parking lot. And then, I don't know, we'll, we'll talk then. I'm, oh my god, I'm literally so nervous. Yeah, we're getting on the highway, so I'll just talk to you when I'm at the school. Okay, I'm here, and I'm freaking out, so I'm just gonna go in and find the spot where we're taking the test, and then just kind of sit down and go on the app on my phone and just do a bunch of those questions. Um, I'm really freaking out, so yeah. I need to get in and find out where the test is gonna be at. Um, that's what I'm gonna go do. So I will, wow, I'm gonna see you next when I'm done taking it and hopefully it wasn't complete fail, but we'll see. Okay, bye. Oh my God. Um, I just got done. That room was so hot in there and I'm like freaking out. Okay, I did way better than I thought I ever was gonna do my first time. Um, so our nursing thing to even apply or like that they accept at the lowest is a 60% which is honestly way lower than I thought it was gonna be like that's crazy um so I don't know why a 60% for them is like okay I don't know my best sections were math and reading and the science was my lowest because there's a lot of chem questions on there um and I haven't taken chem since like my junior year of high school so I need to go over all that um but the good thing is i'm taking it a second time and i already have a score that will like get me in um not that i know it's gonna get in or be accepted but yeah i did a lot better so it was that and then english was pretty low too for like grammar which i knew that was going to be pretty hard so yeah my strongest one was math and then reading so. The first thing I want to talk about is that I am going to be um, cutting out what I got on my teeth test. I didn't do bad. I just want you guys to know I did actually pretty good on it for my first time. Um, I just want to wait to kind of reveal my scores until I am completely done with taking the test. I still have one more to go and I think I'm going to sign up for another one because um, this nursing program that I want to get into is actually pretty competitive. I know I say in the vlog that they say 60% um, is like passing, but they yes it's passing but that's not what they're looking for um you have to get at least a 60 percent for them to be able to look at your scores i figured that out so 60 percent does not guarantee you at all into this nursing program they expect a mid 70s high 70s 80s um they want you at least to have a 75 and up for you to be like pretty much eligible so that is what they're looking for but knowing that the 60 was considered passing kind of like really relieved me during the test and I was like oh okay I got this um studying I want to talk about how much I studied for this first test um I know you guys like a lot of you guys were like oh my gosh you're doing so good you're studying your butt off you got this you're gonna do so great and I appreciate all those comments but to be honest I really feel like I didn't um I honestly started studying two weeks before the test and I didn't study every single day so I do not advise that at all even though I did get a pretty good score for my first time I just do not advise that I the reason I say that is because I thought I was gonna be able to study a lot over December but my boyfriend who was long distance was in town so I was making sure I was spending enough time with him my family getting ready for Christmas I spent a lot of time with family and like really 
fun things I didn't want to miss out on. But I do realize that, like, I really should have cut a bunch of that time to study. It's just really hard when, like, I don't want to blame it on my boyfriend being in town. But when you don't get to see him often, it's like you want to spend as much time as possible. Especially because he is going into the military and... I don't know if he's going to be home for summer or if he's not, then I don't know like the next time I'm going to see him. So yeah, that kind of really made me struggle and I, the lighting's so bad guys. I know I'm so, so sorry. Um, I don't know if, how I can fix it. It's just the sun's going in and out. Um, yeah, so I advise studying definitely a month in advance and really taking the time to pick out certain days and just study I'm definitely taking breaks I do really believe on all the study habits that I had when I did study because I actually did a very did a pretty good score for barely studying to be honest so I'm actually really really proud of my score I actually got a high advanced score in my math section and reading so I was very 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 proud of that because I did focus a lot on math the one thing that didn't get me I didn't, like, just so you know, I didn't get an advanced score, so I didn't get a 77 and above. I got, like, a happy medium. Um, but I'm just taking again because I want to get my score up. Anyway, what didn't get me an advanced score was in the science part, there was a ton of chemistry on my test. Um, and I have not taken chemistry since junior year of high school so that really set me back and I tried to study for it but I just didn't have enough time thanks to my procrastination. Also the English grammar was really hard so that also did not get me my advanced score that I wanted. So I am just going to start out with how the day went, how the T's went, things that are on the test that maybe that will help you prepare for the T's. So I first went into the building and I was very stressed out. I First of all, I had no idea where this test was taking place because there was no signs telling me where to go. But I ended up finding it. I was very nervous. And so the T's is a test that is taken online. In case you guys didn't know, you are given a scratch piece of paper and a pencil. I recommend bringing your own pencil. I forgot my pencil, but thank God they have some for me. So yes, your test is randomized. You don't know what section is going to pop up first. For me, I had reading first and it was very simple. It was about just read the passage and like what was the main topic of this passage? What is a good first topic sentence based on like the options below? What was the author's main purpose about this certain paragraph? Um, there's also like what does this word mean in this sentence? It'll be like bolded or italicized and you have to like understand the word or what the word is saying or what the definition of the word is used in that sentence. Reading was honestly really easy for me. I feel like it was really good. I mean, if you are good at reading a story and understanding the main topic or the author's perspective, I don't think you'll have a problem with that. Definitely just skim over in the book, like the reading sections of your ATIT's practice book or something. And definitely take the practice test in the back of the books for the reading, um, just so you have a feel of it. After reading, I went on to, was it math? Yes. I went on to math. Now, for me, this was my highest scoring um, section in the T's, which really shocked me. I believe I got like a, it was pretty close to a 90. So I was really, really proud. What you need to know for the math section of the T's, and I stress this so much, um, is fractions. Being able to convert fractions to percentages, fractions to decimals, and then like decimals to percentages, decimal to fraction, just like back and forth. So knowing that is really, really good. That is That was a bunch, a bunch of the section, like a bunch of the portion in the math section. Um, it also had like list these numbers from greatest, greatest to least. And um, there were like fractions, some were decimals. So you need to be able to convert those fractions into decimals to see like what numbers are the biggest and the lowest. You know what I mean? So I highly recommend you know those um you also want to know how to get the permit like the area of a rectangle um square i did not have any triangles any crazy like rhombus shapes so i don't i don't know if anyone else has had those crazy shapes but i didn't so um just your basic like square your square and triangle maybe know a circle but yeah definitely know your areas and your perimeter there's also a bunch of word problems um, knowing how to find, like, the I'll do an example. So, you're paying $150,000 for a house, but you have a 20% discount. What is your savings? You know what I mean? So, 
that it's like percent change um amount change all that there's also in the t's so t's test book practice book that goes over that stuff so know that but the math was fairly simple a lot more simple than i thought it was going to be so if you're worried about the math section just take a deep breath you'll have plenty of time i believe there's only 26 questions on it um and i had i think 20 minutes left because I just was going through them because they were not that hard for me. Um, They're more simple than I thought and I was really, really scared about the math section. But just take a deep breath, calm down, slow down, take your time. You got it. You have enough time to finish it. I then moved on to science. Um, <laughs> This was really difficult for me due to the chemistry. I did so good on the anatomy and physiology section. I knew all the answers to that except I think like two or something. Um... But, um, for some reason, my test had a bunch of chemistry. I mean, just a ton. A ton of chemistry. And that freaked me out. I was like, oh my god. So, it asked you pretty specific questions in the anatomy section. Like, I had what gets cut during the male vasectomy. So, the vas deferens. Um, like, questions like that. It's not just like a general kind of thing you know what i mean there is some pretty specific questions so definitely just go hard on your test book and drill through everything read over it and then you get into the chemistry i didn't have a bunch of balance balancing like equations in the chemistry um it was a lot of like definitions i couldn't <laughs> this is so dumb i couldn't remember like an ionic bond and a covalent bond even though i looked over it i just like blanked out and i was like oh my god it's chemistry like chemistry i'm not good at chemistry um so i let myself freak out on that which was not good but yeah it wasn't a bunch of equations i didn't i think i had one equation for chemistry and that was it everything else was just like things i just didn't know and wasn't prepared for so I definitely was setting that in the science section after science I then moved on to English and that of course is your grammar your punctuations all of that um didn't do too well because that was very surprisingly pretty hard uh it talks about complex sentences um just know complex sentences and it talks about like a conjunction and all that kind of stuff so just really drill those in your t's test practice book get all those down because you need to know all those like definitions in order to help you with your sentences and stuff and then they also have which word is spelled correctly um what word goes in this section of the sentence to make sense so like it'll have a sentence blank and then following with the rest of the sentence and you have to choose the word which would fit best in that little blank yeah it was surprisingly pretty hard so just know what a semicolon is used for know what a colon is used for know your commas where to put them that's all i can say just really if grammar and like punctuations is not your strong suit i definitely recommend drilling that hard because it's surprisingly more difficult than i thought it was going to be um yeah so that was the breakdown of my whole test i never ran out of time um i always had <clears throat> enough like time after the only one that is like kind of pushing you to the time limit is the science i just want you to answer those questions yeah so i didn't run out of time i was able to answer every single question and you can also go back to answers that you're not sure on you have a previous button a next button um so you can look out you can check your answers before you want to click into the next section so once you're finished with your t's test it will pop up a screen and your score is going to be in the left hand corner that's where it says and then down below it lists your individual scores for each section um, so definitely take the time to read those and figure out what sections you did better in, worse in, just so you know what to study in the future. I just want to wait until I get like all of my T's tests done with and then I'll tell you the full breakdown of everything and my scores. And I want to get a very good score that I'm very, very proud of before I tell you studying tips that have worked right now like I want you guys to get the best score so I'm gonna wait until I get my best score so then I can share like my secrets for studying and what worked out better this time than post like this last time but the tips I can give you is the ATI's T's pocket prep app there were actually a lot of questions on the T's that were from there and there's also a site that has ATI T's practice test to take so let me go get that my nursing advisor actually sent me this. I just really, because I expressed, I was like, I really want to get my score up. 
what can I do? And she's like, this is a really great um, option for you. So I'm going to share that with you. So I'll put the link in the description. Um, but it's www.mometrics.com slash academy slash tease hyphen test slash. So I'll put that in the description. It has a bunch of free practice tests that you can take for the tease. And they say that really, really helps. So I recommend checking that website out for sure. But I realized that it was a lot less nerve wracking. Everyone in that room is hoping to do good like you. A lot of people are going to struggle. A lot of people will succeed. Um, it's like, just don't feel bad. Take your time. Focus on you. Don't worry about the other people in the room. Just breathe. Think about yourself. You are your biggest competitor for this test. You want to... Don't think about the other people's scores. Don't think about how they may get in before you or something. Just really focus on you. Take a deep breath and just block out everyone around you. But yeah, that's all I have to say about how my T's experience went. Um, I'm very proud of my score, but I do just want to get it higher so I can be in a more, um, be in a higher <clears throat> ranking, uh, just because I really want to be guaranteed into this nursing program. So, <laughs> I am going to take it a few more times. I might sign up for a third one, just because I just, I want to get the highest score possible that I can, which I shouldn't do now. I was grabbing for my laptop, but... Yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this breakdown of the teas in my little snippet of me going. I was very relieved after it was over, and I know you will be too. Oh, that was kind of fast. Wow, I can't believe I got that all done in 17 minutes. So, I am so happy you continued watching through this video. I hope it helped you. I hope there were some tips or some words of wisdom that <laughs> calmed you down or may help you prepare for the next tease test that you are taking. Um, anyways, I'm going to end this video and I will see you in the next one. Oh, before I end it, make sure you follow my Instagram. The link is always in the description as well as just my username. Um, subscribe if you want to see more pre-nursing videos, nursing videos hopefully in the future. Um, just all focused around pre-nursing, but I also do a bunch of lifestyle vlogs and just vlogs in general. So make sure you subscribe and like this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.